Hi, everybody. Welcome to my first episode of Truth Speak with Principal Hooks. Um, I'm Jen Hooks, the high school principal here at West Grand High School, and I'm bringing you these episodes to talk about some of the topics that we have here at the high school that I know are big topics of conversation at home and to provide some clarity for everyone. Um, so my first topic, big topic for everybody, is what is with the cell phones? Um, I know that this has been a topic of conversation for many years and I wanted to clear things up. So for cell phones, cell phones are not to be used during instructional time here at the high school. What that means is when things are being taught. So instruction time, bell to bell, students should not have their cell phones with them in class. However, nobody here is searching students when they come into the classroom for their cell phone. So as long as students can engage in some self-control and just keep their cell phone on their person and not out during class, they are welcome to carry it with them. They are just not welcome to use it in class. So the first thing I want to do is go over the policy with you guys. There is a policy about this from our school board. You can look at the policy here. Um, so this policy is J1CJ, and I'm not going to read it to you, but this policy was established September 11th, 2012. So almost a decade, you guys, almost a decade, this policy has been in existence. And this year we are working on actually um, following that policy. A big part of this policy says that our Board of Education does believe that personal technology devices are useful tools for students in the educational environment and can play a vital communication role during em emergency situations. However, use of technology devices in school situations must be regulated to assure that the use of such devices does not disrupt or interfere with the educational process or school operations. Part of the reason here at the high school, we are trying to get away from cell phones being used in classes because we want to engage with your kids. We really, really like them. They're super cool. We want to talk to them and teach them things verbally because we have the opportunity to do that and we have the opportunity to engage with them. And it's really hard to do that when they're looking down at their phone while we're speaking to them. So in addition to the policy, what the school board says, we have um, some notes in our handbook, and these came from me. Um, they're very similar to other handbooks in our region, in our state, um, in the country regarding electronic devices and responsibilities. And this policy says that, um, or this handbook piece says that students may carry cell phones and electronic devices, but this equipment is to be turned off and stored out of sight during each class period. If out of sight means in their pocket, then that is out of sight. If out of sight means in their backpack, then that's out of sight. Um, students can use their cell phone during lunch, during passing periods, before and after school. Unfortunately, right now, students cannot use their cell phone in the media center. Um, we have had a lot of good connections within our community, and we use that media center as an instructional space. So we use that for kids in online classes and in concurrent enrollment classes, and it's very distracting for them. Um, to be able to use that space when other people are in there on their cell phones watching YouTube videos um, and making noises. So hallways during passing periods, during lunch, before school, after school are all acceptable times to use their cell phone. As a parent, I totally get that you want your kid to have their cell phone on them in case of an emergency. Completely understand that. And part of what I want to do here in this school is to make sure that we are putting people first. So I've had many conversations with students and with teachers about how we are human beings first and students have just as many struggles in life as we do. So they should be able to access their phone if they need to in case of an emergency or if something's going on in their family. We just ask that like adults, they respectfully say, I need to take this phone call or tell the teacher, can I please have my phone on me today? This is going on, I have something going on in my family. I need to have my phone on me. All good things. I am asking for some reinforcement at home. And part of that reason is because we want to engage your students. So anybody in this building, your students know this, teachers know this, I am not a huge fan of rules that are about compliance and control. I think that that is not something that we should do here and that rules here should be simply about safety and engagement. And if they're not about safety and engagement, then we should start looking at some of our rules. So in this case, the cell phone rule is simply about engagement. And 
I have a couple of things I'd like to share with you. So one of them is this awesome article, has lots of studies and data in it. Um, it's called Take Away Their Cell Phones. You can find it here. There are a couple pieces in this article that I had shared with my staff at the beginning of the year that I would love to share with you. So <clears throat> here it goes. This is a generation that is both more connected and disconnected than anybody before. How crazy is that? They're super connected to the world, but not to their neighbor or the person sitting in the seat next to them. They cannot, not cannot struggle with making connections in the classroom because they are so used to having electronic discussion that sometimes verbal discussion is hard and we want to change that here. Additionally, um, all of the time on screens has degraded attention and concentration skills. So the problem with cell phones is that young people are using them to switch tasks every few seconds. Better put, young people practice switching tasks every few seconds so they become more accustomed to states of half attention where they are ever more expectant of new stimulants every few seconds. Additionally, Daily entertainment and screen use in 2021 increased to about eight and a half hours among teens ages 13 to 18, eight and a half hours a day. That is nuts. And we don't want those eight and a half hours to be here at school. We want the eight and a half hours that we have with them here to be us talking to them. Um, one of the comments that I've heard from parents is that this might be an infringement on their students' freedom or the role of the school is to teach young people to make better choices. Um, so we should talk to them about cell phones and not restrict them. And I truly feel that that is what we are trying to do here. We're not restricting cell phones in our building. We're trying to talk to students about the appropriate times to use their cell phones. And some of that is on teachers. Um, we need to have a better system for accountability and how we do that here. But also we really want students to understand that not using their cell phone during our class time is not about control or about taking away things that they like, but truly because we want them to engage in their learning and it is so imp important that they can do that without having their cell phone glued to their face. So if you have questions about our cell phone policy or handbook policy or have concerns about what we're doing here at the high school, please reach out because we want all of the feedback. Um, I appreciate your time listening to this conversation and hope that some of these resources and understanding may have helped you, but truly we want to engage with your students. We want them to feel safe and if the safest place for the, their cell phone is on them, then that is great. However, um, please make sure that they understand that they need to practice you know, some, some self-control in knowing that they cannot have that cell phone out. It can be on them in case of an emergency during class time, but that they have many passing periods and a 45 minute lunch period to enjoy their cell phones in any way that they would like that's appropriate at school um and i will see you next time